There's three places his leg can go when I pick it up. And what we just did, the outside, is the one I, I don't want to do that. I would never pick his leg up and force it to the outside like that. That's what he's going to do. So we have to be able to react to his situation because being able to crash ahead and step through like that, we're able to do that when he presents us with the situation. But when I pick his leg up, I'm not thinking I want to pull his leg to the outside. Maybe you get really good at this finish and you do. This is me personally. I'd rather keep it in front of me or in the middle. So let's talk about if he puts, puts it in the middle. Pick it up and I got it in the middle here. The other place he could put his leg is in the front here, but he would never, he would never do this because he's giving me a take it out. So legs in the middle. Okay, at this point, I really need to be able to see what he's doing. Because what his hip, this hip right here decides what I'm going to do next. If his hip's going into me and putting pressure, I'm going to sit him down and do his dump. If his hip's going away, I'm going to pull his leg up, up high in front of me. So if I have his leg in the middle here, and he's putting pressure into me, right there, I'm going to sit him down. If I have his leg in the middle here, he goes away from me a little bit, I'm going to bring up my arm in front of me. Before, the leg is behind, now it's in front. And frankly, I don't care which one he gives me. Because I know I'm going to score no matter which position I'm in. He's going to probably try to give me whatever he, wherever he's most comfortable, but it doesn't matter. Let's say he pressures into me real hard, because that's what you'll get from a lot of good wrestlers. You pick up the leg that drive in you, because they're trying to go on offense when you have your leg. They're not conceding anything, and they're going to try to score. That's fine. We'll use his aggressiveness against it. So I got the wrist. To the outside, pick it up in the middle. He's driving into me hard. Well, I'm going to set him down. Now, what am I doing here? I'm doing basically two things. I'm stepping back in a circle, and I'm lowering my level with my chest into his leg. There's a few other things that might go on there based on what he does, but essentially, it's not that hard. Two things. If I've got his leg here, I'm stepping back, I'm putting pressure with my chest. So I'm bring it. This foot right here is going to step back, and I'm going to bend my knees and put pressure with my chest, and end up in this position. Notice which one of us is on the ground. That's the way we want. I'll cover it once I get him down, but I'm never going to fall down first. So I picked his leg up. He's kept it in the middle. Put the pressure in. I'm going to step back and bend. And then cover him. You know, if I can hang on to his leg, I can actually go into you know, a low leg cradle or however he turns. That's going to help set up my nice motion. We're going to stick with takedowns tonight. So that's uh, what we're going to do when he gives us pressure in. One more time. Take the leg up. Pressure, pressure. Set him down on the mat. Get back on his 